by the powers conferred on me as Igwe Okaka III of Umezama Kingdom, the chief custodian of our culture and tradition, I crown you as the one in Kizizi of Umezama. Henceforth, rule over my people. My father, Igo Kaka the Third of Umezama Kingdom. I thank you for this great honor bestowed on me today to rule over my people. I promise to rule them well by the grace of God Almighty. Long live as a wine. Thank you, Father. Your Highness, we heard about the abominable thing you did, and we are here to protest. Yes. Iwe, it is unheard of that a sitting king will crown his daughter as king of the land. It is an abomination. Arrow, we will not accept it, Iwe. Iwe, even that must be. It must be approved by Council of Elders oh, yes. first. Yes. You don't just wake up one morning and think out one abomination and expect us to sit down and watch. What kind of Hebrew are you? Eh? Your Highness, I guess your daughter is not recognized as our queen. A sitting king will not count anyone to succeed him. No way. Mm. It is irregular and unheard of. Yes. Loyal and void of the custom of our land. On this premise, Igwe, your daughter Daisy must step down immediately. Exactly. Immediately. Immediately. And now, um, huh? okay. Okay. who amongst you is going to effect what you have said? The whole of us, of course. We, of course. You? We, of course. Listen, Igwe, that is the reason why we are here. Yeah, elders. Yeah. Holy Mother of Christ, what kind of dream is this? God, what could be the meaning of these dreams? Me, the, the as one of Umezama Kingdom. Good morning, my friend. Thank you. Good morning. 
as my mother sent you to come and call me for breakfast. Yes, my friend sent. She asked that you come down for breakfast. It was well coming up before you came. So. Just add you on my life. All right, thank you. Okay. You don't look bright. What is it? Talk to me. What is it? Mother, I had a dream last night. Good day, sir. You in your dreams, huh? What does that? In my dream, Father crowned me the is the one of Umezama kingdom. Yes, mother. But something happened that really got me worried. <coughs> what is it? Is it possible to have breakfast in peace? No, well, on the more serious note. When next you have one of your silly dreams, why don't you keep it to yourself? <coughs> At least not during breakfast. Okay? Keep it to yourself. Besides, where on earth have you heard that a woman is crowned he is a man of any kingdom? Do not what's the problem? What did she do wrong? She only told us that she dreamt where her father crowned her. She, did, she didn't tell us that she has already been crowned. He's dreaming not free anymore. Come on, darling. Keep on dreaming. But let us eat, okay? Well, I can see your acute malaria has returned suddenly. <laughs> yes. Dr. Mona will come to examine father today, maybe. I'll tell him to look into the case. <laughs> coming around to help. We, we all know that um, he doesn't really have much time with us, but thank you all the same. It's all right, Your Majesty. Um, we just have to keep showing him love and uh, care until such a time where he will say his final goodbye. You're, you're correct. We know that um, we could not do any other thing but to show him love. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right, Your Majesty. Yeah. I really have to start going now. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. It's okay now. Thank you. 
This same dream. Oh my God. God, are you trying to pass a message to me? Both of you can now go back. <laughs> go and get busy, okay? Okay. Thank you. Mom. Yes, my dear. Are you okay? Mom, I've been worried all day. Why? Again, in my dream, I was made the queen of the land. I mean, the Ezewani of Umezama kingdom. Again? Yes, Mom. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you usually, like, go to the throne room before you sleep at night? Because that's the only way you will be having that kind of dream all the time. Mom, I don't do that. What do you think is God's special way of passing a message to me? The message like... I don't know. But this is not ordinary. It must have a special connotation. Well, child. I don't want you to to bother yourself about this. It was just a dream. Do not start attaching importance to it. Okay? You're fine. Now give me a smile. It's not the end of the world. That's better. How come? Oh no. Oh no. Of all people, go for a meeting of Council of Elders. In his own house, instead of Ibu's palace. Huh? Oh, are they planning to overthrow him? Why he's still alive? Although the daughter said that he is hopeless and the worthless of living, but not by the cause. Probably who should have waited for him to join his ancestor before planning to overthrow him? Huh? No. I must get this. This information my leg. Move us, 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 move that we meet to discuss matters of urgent attention in our land. Igwakaka, the thought, is not getting any better since three years he fell sick. And the doctors have declared that his case has become hopeless. He's now confined to the comfort of his room being attended to by the royal doctor, Obuna. Igwe will remain there until he joins our ancestors, which could be any time. As the Yonu of our kingdom, it is my responsibility to, to strengthen our laws and tradition. What I'm trying to say is that if the Igwe joins our ancestors, the kingship will move from his family line into the next family line because he has no heir uh, apparent to his throne. And that family is in his Sinachi family. 
some if you like. Um, Chief Ojugu, you would have automatically become the king. But your late brother has a son. The question is, does your nephew have any child? Mm, no, there is a little problem there. <clears throat> there is a little problem there. As a matter of fact, my late brother's son, who lives in the city, doesn't even have a wife. We're ah. talking of having a child. Ah. You see it? <laughs> now that's the problem. Ah. If you live. Has anyone mentioned this matter to this boy? To prepare his mind as well to all that is required of him. <laughs> I don't think so. Because if anyone has, he would have gotten a wife and a child by now. But let me put it to you, Chief Ojuku. It is your responsibility as the boss uncle and a member in council to have made the boy realize that the throne of our forefathers fought directly on his shoulders after the demise of Igor Kaka. But the truth is that I didn't see it coming so soon. Oh yes, that's the truth of the matter. I, I forgot completely that um, the, 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 the kingship was coming to my family. Oh yes, but what I know is that if my late brother didn't have a grown-up son, that I, Ojuku, will be the next king of Umeziyama Kingdom. Uh, however, I will send a message across to my nephew. Oh, yeah. Good. According to our tradition, your nephew has to bring forth a son that will be sworn into the oath of kingship while the Igwe Okaka is still alive. That's correct. Who will now become the heir apparent to your nephew's throne when he becomes king. And then the tradition also says that this has to be done within a time frame. If he's not able to do that, the kingship moves to uh, the next family line, which is Abakuru family line. No, no, don't just go there. Don't even go there. Uh, let's not talk about the kingship <laughs> leaving my family for another. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about it. Who told you we are not capable of handling what is coming to us? Oh no, we are more than capable of handling it. I assure you. Good. You just go back home and handle this matter with all seriousness. Like I said, the Igwe Okaka is getting weaker and weaker every passing day. So this is the time we have to do whatever we need to do. Yes, thank you. Right. Right. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask Yeah, hello Jay. Hello my prince. I greet you my prince. How are you? Um, my prince, as I speak to you now, the elders in Kansu are having a crucial meeting in my house with my father. Really? Yes my prince. Um, my prince, are you aware that if your father, the king, dies, that the kingship will leave your family to another family. What? What did you just say? My prince, I mean everything I just said. I overheard the other saying once your father dies, the kingship will leave your family. Hello, Dada. You don't know what you heard, Jay. It can't be true. You don't know what you heard. With all due respect, my prince, you know me too well. I'm a friend, I'm a loyal servant to you. I have never lied to you and I will not start now. My prince, you know I will never lie to you. And you know I will never say what I'm not sure of. My prince, 
things i am very sure of this as we speak right now the meeting is still going on i just came out to inform you just to confirm if if you are aware of such meeting i think i have to go back now okay yes i i really have to go and and see if i can gather more information okay okay uh jay see, see see what you do for me okay just put your ears down and let me know the outcome of the meeting all right go i will my prince i will i'll let you know my prince okay thank you how is it possible how is it possible that the kingship will leave my family when my father dies? How? Yes. Yes, I need I need some wristwatches. Rings, jewelry, as a matter of fact. Yes, I'll call you back. Alright. Bob, do you have a bit? I need to talk to you. What is it, sir? Sit. Mama, are you aware? that you know is having a meeting as we speak with the elders in council. Yes, he has your father's permission. He has my father's permission. And the topic on their table is how the throne will leave my family to some other family. Yes, that is what the custom of our land stipulates. What did you just say, Mom? Yes, son. When your father dies, the kingship will leave our family to another family. Why would that ever happen, Mom? I am the heir apparent to my father's throne. Now, why would the throne leave the family after my father dies? Why would that ever happen, Mom? Mm. Donald, there's so much about the kingship of this kingdom that you do not know. Wait a minute, man. Wait a sec. Is there, is there some kind of politics going on here that I know nothing of? There's no politics anywhere. It's been like this since your forefathers. Well, how do you expect me, do not, to sit by and watch what rightfully belongs to me being taken away from me, brought daylight, Mom? How do you expect me? Your son, Osinaki, was the topic of our discussion in the meeting the elders held with Ono. No, my son. Why? Is he in any kind of trouble? Hmm? No, no, Mban. He's not in any kind of trouble. No. Okay. Um, there is something you need to know about the custom of our kingdom, Umeziyama kingdom, that you do not know. And that is what I have come to educate you on. Okay. Good. The custom of this kingdom permits the kingship to move from one family to another where the sitting king dies without an heir. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the Egu family, whose son Igu Okata is the reigning king, is about to lose the kingship to another family because the king has no son to take over from him when he dies in 
fact, as I speak to you now, Igwe Okaka is very, very sick. And his health is going down and down by the day. In fact, it's so terrible that he may soon join his ancestors. Oh. In that meeting, you will know who made me understand that our family is the next in line. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying? <laughs> You mean that our family will soon become a royal family? Oh yes, so told totally, you know. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's a good one. Oh. That's a good one. But tonight, how does this concern my son now? That is where I am going to. Your late husband, my brother, was the first child of this family. I hope you know. I know. Now since he had a son before he died, by tradition, the kingship rests on the shoulders of his son, Osinachi. Hey! I you know. Hey! That is it. Hey! I don't even know. Oh God, may your name be praised. Hey! You want to tell me? I will soon be the mother of the king. That in this life, my son will rule over this land. Hey! I'll watch him rule over this land. Oh God, may your name be praised. Hey! But, but there is something. There is something. Don't get too excited yet or rejoice, over rejoice or celebrate. Because there is something that has to be done. Hey, what is it? Why are you all It has to be done in the right frame of time. What is it? Listen. Your son Osinachi mm -hmm. must get married. Have a son who would be sworn to the oath of kingship while Igwe Okaka is still alive. Nay, but you said that Igwe Okaka is getting weaker by the day and may join his ancestors any time from now. Of course, of course. But the time and date or whenever he's going to die is not what we have control over, as a matter of fact. Mm. But ours is to do what we are supposed to do and on time too, while the Igwe Okaka is still alive. Nay. But you know as much as I do that my son has no 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 wife yet, and neither does he have a son. So how is this thing going to work? Oh, I know, I know, and that is why I have come, so that we can hasten him up, that he will begin to do what is required of him before the Igwe Okaka dies. If he doesn't, the implication is that the kingship. You are sleep out of our hands. Mm -hmm. Another mm -hmm. family! Mm -hmm. God forbid. God forbid that will never happen. My son will be the king of this community. Uh, okay. He must. Yeah. I'm going to do all I can. Okay. Hey. That's why we have to send message across to him immediately. Tell him to come home at once. I will do just that. Yes. I will do just that tonight. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much. Uh, nice. I have to start going because I have something I am doing. For I've been having this been having this dream where I was crowned the Ezumwani of Umizama community. Yes, Father. Like, I want to know the meaning of that dream. Well, I think um, that is what our Lord wants to tell you in the, your dreams. Can you stand up and let us pray? Father, Lord, Amen. Father, Lord, <laughs> hey, okay, mother. Long live the mother of the next king of Asia, Mukendo. Hey, welcome. Fulani, the only radio without battery in Mozama village. <laughs> Radio can work without battery, but I am the internet <laughs> vata without max. <laughs> I work pakata, no photocopy. <laughs> hey! Hey, Fulani. Hmm? Only the bro, I work. I get it. Fulani, 
how did you hear of the kinship? Or were you invited for, for, for the meeting? Are you one of the council members now? Muvase, Muvase. Eh? You see, my mouth has gone on strike until my stomach is taken care of. So you are indirectly telling us that you are hungry, Abby? If you mention, don't mention. <laughs> Mama. Just wash your hands. Go and get him some food to eat. No problem, Mama. <laughs> this Fulani, you are so full. Hey! Fulani. How are you now? <laughs> you mean you will not talk until you see food? Fulani. Fulani. Oh, you take your food too. Son has not become the next king of Aziama community, but he has started taking care of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will live longer. <laughs> hey! Hey! Why are you? Yeah, what are you? I go to them now. Don't mention. <laughs> get there. <laughs> um, um, Fulan, hmm? how did you get to know about the kingship coming to our family? <laughs> See, let me tell you. Although who called for a meeting without including me, the mouthpiece of this community. <laughs> but trust me, <laughs> before the meeting started, I have already know what it's all about. Oh, then the a banquet. Hey, why you on why? I hope you are enjoying the food. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody that says your son will snatch will not be the next king of Aziama after the ruling king will die. <laughs> he, will, he or she will make a way and will enjoy. Say his name. Say, say. Move ourselves. Move ourselves. <laughs> yes! But let me tell you, we must do everything within our power to make sure he meet up with with all it requires to be the best king. Mm. Mm. Fight and fight. <laughs> fight and fight. <laughs> you see, I'm. Oh, no. 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 Oh, do you mean any moment from now you walk a cow die? And when he dies, if the ears in our cheese family could not bring someone that is credible, the kingship will leave them and come to us. Wow. <laughs> that is if they will meet up. And I know they will not meet up. Do you understand? And if they don't meet up, the kingship moves from that family and come to us. And that makes me the next king of Umuizyama's kingdom. <laughs> Say it again, my husband. Uh, nah. And when you become the Igwe, mm. I'll become the queen. Uh, nah. My goodness. <laughs> hmm. I love royalty. Mm. Especially the prestige, mm -hmm. the honor, and the dignity Chai. associated with it. <laughs> I'll be walking around the Umwezeama community with my shoulders high like this. <laughs> I might be beginning to reason and see things the way I'm seeing it. <laughs> and who is the person the ears Nachis want to provide? Who's in Nachi now? Let you are Diego's son, that one that lives in the city. Don't know Sinachi. Does he have a wife and a son? Oh, yeah. He doesn't have a wife or a son. Okay, now let's look at it this way. He has to get a wife. And before he gets a son that will be present to Igwe's kinship. And that should be before Igwe Okaka dies. Do you understand? 
People ask me their wife now your son. And the go kaka is dying fast. As I speak with you now, when we had the sound of Igor, signifying the death of Igwe. That tells you that you know me at all. <laughs> yes, so they will not. Uh -uh. Yes, so that's the handwork of our God. I know. He wants us to be in charge of this land. Yes, yes. Hmm. But come to think of this. The E.S. Nachi's family, why didn't they pre prepare for this before now? Or are they not aware? Mm, I don't think that they are aware. Because if they are aware, they would have done the needful before now. But it's all good now. That is to our favor now. Don't you think of that? <laughs> Can you imagine, Jay? Can you imagine that my mother confirmed to the fact that the throne will be leaving my family to some other family? Can you imagine that? Now tell me. Can you imagine the abomination? What sort of a bullshit is that, Jay? But, did she explain why? According to her, she said my father permitted the meeting to be held at your place. She said it is the custom and tradition of the land. That is exactly what I am finding so difficult to understand. Exactly what I wanted to ask. Why will the throne leave the family in hold of it when the family has an heir apparent? Gee, these people are talking jargons. They are talking Baudadash. As a matter of fact, I am Prince Donald. Prince Donald. Dogu? Okaka. The heir apparent to the throne of Umezama. And despite whatever anyone or the elders thinks, when my father dies, I shall ascend the throne of my ancestors. It's your throne, my prince, and with you all the way. Udogu! You see, when my great grandfather died, my grandfather succeeded him and ascended the throne. When my grandfather died, my father succeeded him and ascended the throne. Now tell me, why would Igwe Okaka die and the throne will be taken away, far away from me? Why would that happen? What nonsense is that? Where has it ever been heard? In the entire world! Where? As a matter of fact, G, read my lips. I am the next king of Umezama Kingdom. Igwe. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing anyone can do about it. It is my right, traditional right and inheritance. Igwe. <laughs> See what goes around comes around. When a man collects what belongs to a child and raises his hand up, a time will come when he will get tired. He will have no other choice than to bring his hands down and the child will collect what belongs to him. That's exactly what just happened. I celebrate you, my king. Igwe, Donald, Okaka, Okaka. I celebrate you, Igwe. Loyalty has its reward. You have been loyal, my friend. And I shall reward you adequately. Thank you, my king. Thank you, my king. Who is 
is the chosen one that you allow him to be oh who is the chosen person allow him to grow oh god damn bless i mean no one can contest oh god damn bless i said no one can contest who is the chosen one father my princess father please i want to discuss something very important with you go ahead i'm listening Father, for the past one week, I've been having these dreams. Where I was made as a one of our kingdom. Made as a one? Yes, Father. Father, can, can, can you please tell me the meaning of such constant dream? Yes, Father. There are a lot of things associated with the kingship of our land. I don't have the strength to discuss that now. Greetings, Your Majesty. My princess. I greet you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And how is Your Majesty doing today? How am I? You can see, I'm just waiting for the last breath. And then, uh, I'm just tired and I need some rest. <laughs> Unfortunately, Your Majesty. No one is in control of that, you know. Like they say, no one knows the exact time or hour. Hmm? You're welcome, Doctor Bonner. Thank you. Bye, darling husband. I pray that time you seek never comes soon, because I still need you around. Um, you know, I saw me to that because we all need you around, Your Majesty. Yes. When it comes to this, we're I'll play with one hand and watch and see. Let's go. One hand, I believe too much talk. Hey! You are going to go in my boat. I told you. My boy is becoming a man. Don't worry, one hand. You see that? Mama? Mama, I'm fine. What? Mama, is there any problem? Alright, Mama. I've had you, I've had you. Okay, Mama. My mom said I should come home immediately. My mother has never called me in such manner before. I am scared something bad might have happened in the village. No, I don't think so. She would have mentioned it over the phone to you. I think you have to travel to the village and find out what exactly is the problem. Yeah, sure, sure. First thing tomorrow morning, I'll be on my way to the village. Yeah. Just relax your mind. I don't think anything bad has happened. <laughs> Allow him to go. Oh 
God bless, I know one can contest. Who God bless, I said no one can contest. Who is the chosen one? Hey, I'm one now. Hey, I'm one. Good evening, Mama. I'm one. Oh, I'm one. Hey, hello, sir. Hey, hello, sir. Hey, hello, sir. Hey, hello, sir. Hell, how was your trip home? Oh, just so far. Hey. Hi, Donald. Oh, your mother is fine. Uh, you can Mama, see. Can I see. You can see. You can see. This almighty God is doing marvelous work. And we are very blessed. Hey, Donald. 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 God has remembered us. Do you know that in the Council of Elders meeting the other day, you were the center of discussion? Yes. How, Mama? How come I became the topic of discussion amongst the elders meeting? Oh, am I not an elder? <laughs> you are not. No. You are going to be the next Igwe. <laughs> Mama, you know you like cracking serious jokes. I hope this is not one of them. Brother, you did just say joke. <laughs> they doesn't like joke here. This is real fact. We are telling you the truth, the facts. No jokes at all. <laughs> what do you even know about this? Igwe Okaka. Our present king is still alive. Mm -hmm. Even if he dies now, his son, Prince Donald, is there to replace him. So, where is all this coming from? Uh, my son, that was what we thought. Until the Ono called the meeting of the Council of Elders. And there he said that the kingship is going to move from Igbo Okaka's family to another family. And that family is ours. <laughs> Mama, you are getting me more confused. The kingship has always remained with the Iwe Okaka's family. His great grandfather was a king. So was his grandfather. Even his father, the one I know, was also a king before Iwe Okaka became the king. And should anything happen to him today, his son, Prince Donald, the heir upright to the throne, will become the king. So I don't know where all this issue of the kingship moving from one family to another is coming from. Uh, your uncle, Maazi Ujuku, was in that meeting. So he said that the kingship is moving from Igbo Kaka's family to another family because Igbo Kaka does not have an heir apparent to the throne. Yes. He does not? Yes. So, what about Prince Donald, his son? I don't know about that. See, I, I don't understand what people are saying, but my happiness here is the fact that my own brother is going to be the king of Umuizama Kingdom. And I'll be the princess. Hey, I'm so happy. Hey. Listen, yes, there is a clause to it. Mama, huh? a clause? Yes. What kind of clause? Uh, the, okay. the custom demands that you present your son, who is going to be the heir apparent, 
to Igwe Okaka while he is still alive, so that he will in turn swear him to the oath of kingship. Hey. Failure to do this within a stipulated uh, time frame, the kingship will slip from our family to another family. Hey. I don't know. Mama, mm -hmm. this is the proper definition of Aro. A son. Me. Hey. But Mama, this is more serious than what I thought. Oh, see, see, see. Look. This royalty, this honor, this prestige that God has brought into this family should not be allowed to slip off our fingers for any reason. So, please, do what you must do within this stipulated time frame. In the name of God. But Mama, mm? does anyone have an idea of when Igwe Okaka will join his ancestors? That is the problem. That is the problem now. Because your uncle said that he is getting weaker by the day. So no one knows when he is going to join his ancestors. But all I am saying is that you have to do anything you have to do fast. Immediately. Hi. You're welcome, Osinaji. How is business? How is business? I'm cool, we're trying. I can see you. Uh, Kola has come. Uh, it's Kola now. Uh, I'm going to be sad. Yes, I was sad. Thank God. I want to believe your mother has told you what is on ground. Mm -hmm. Look, it is very, very pertinent that you get a wife, put her in the family way, and have a son by the grace of God. And that son will be the heir apparent to the throne of Umeziyama kingdom. That son has to be presented for the oath of kingship now that he is alive. It's a serious matter. That is why I called you to come so that I can talk to you. Uncle, that is where the problem lies. I don't have a wife. Neither do I have a son. Worst of it all is that I don't even have any girl I'm dating at the moment. So Uncle tell me, how do I find a woman, marry her immediately, put her in a family way, and then she delivers a son for me? All within the short possible period, Uncle. Because there is a problem. Eh? Hi. Oh. Well. As hard as it may seem, <laughs> you still have to hasten up. You have to make hay while the sun is shining. They say a stitch in time. It says nine. Listen, you need to hurriedly get a wife and do exactly what I have told you. That's your child. It's the hair apparent to the throne we are talking about. By the time you. Igwe Okaka may drop dead any moment from now. And if he does, and we are not able to present his son for the oath, the kingship will slip off our hands to another family. And it is going to be very humiliating and very shameful. Let me tell you. Our generation unborn will never ever forgive us. Because in this land, they will be mocked and laughed at. We have to be fast about it. Please! Uncle, Uncle, what, what will I do? My son, you may not know. Your late father was my very close ally during the war. You know, both of us, we are partners in the same camp, and I mean the same battalion. After the war, when we couldn't return in time, everybody thought that we were dead. 
In fact, our parents mourned our death, believing that we were killed in the war front. Until that very fortunate afternoon. And I will not forget that Uriye Market Day. I will never forget that Uriye Market Day. When your father and I returned home to Moesiyama, <laughs> everybody was excited. You know, and um, a big welcome party was thrown to welcome us. It was something else. Uh, you can see now, my son, why I will be very, very glad to see you, my best friend son, crowned as the king of our land. Thank you very much, Uncle. I am so grateful for the concern you are showing towards our family. Good. You see, I will like you to make sure that you do everything that is required by our custom and culture to become the king of our land. I will do my best, Uncle. Go about it and do it. Thank you very much for the drink, huh? Good morning, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> One. I salute you. Full of the mad piece of Umayyama kingdom. Hey. The only man who can say that secret, even the bravest warrior of our kingdom cannot say. Hey, hey, hey! You go out snatching. You just described me using the best illustration. Eh? You are highly welcome to our land. You two son of the soil. Thank you, Fulani. I came yesterday to the suit to the companies to pay homage. But we are not around. I know because they have their way of doing it. I know they will direct me wherever you are. <laughs> you are highly welcome, the true son of the sun. Welcome. <laughs> Fulani, I am not the king yet. I may not even become the king after that. So why not slow down on this your ego in a title? At least for now. <laughs> no! Swap! Listen, you must be the best king. You must. This village needs a vibrant young man like you as a king. And no one is more qualified than you. You must not disappoint us. We are strongly behind you. Carry go. Oh, shake it. Oh, get it. Move us, sir. Move us, sir. Uh, I'm following you. Wait, wait. I have something for you. You see, this is what I'm talking about. If not for anything, your selfless generosity towards our people have earned you the truth. Carry go, no shaking. Move us, sir. Move you. Amen, amen. 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 Wherever this one is coming from, more will come. More will come. More will come. Amen. 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 Um, Fulani, um, I have to run along now. I want to see one of the elders. Eh? But let me wait. I'll stay in for trouble. Look, I'm not doing your work. I'm not a troublemaker. They are the one looking for my trouble. I will always be. Free from trouble. Just carry it. Uh, 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 you must be careful how you move around, around this village. Careful how you move around. Hey! Oh, Sinachi. Can you Oh, Sinachi. Hey! Oh, Sinachi. Oh, Fati. Hey, Ziga, Hey! 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 Hey!
without too much get me my eye part. Yes, she's under the tree. Thank you. You can't believe what I'm doing. I'm reading about the world famous queens. Women of substance. Who at one time or the other have ruled over a kingdom. The achievements, flows, and what make them the great heroes of the world. My princess, you can never cease to amuse me. So you are still on this, your this my dream. It has gone beyond dream to reality. As a matter of fact, I've decided to follow up my dreams and see it come to pass. I'm lost now, I don't understand. I want to succeed my father and become the next as the one of Umezama Kingdom. What? Ever since I found out that I will not allow this kinship to slip away from my family hands. But Mama, I am one person that also believes that no man should be rushed into marriage. A man and a woman should be allowed to know each other before becoming husband and wife. But now see Mama, you people are trying to push me into marriage unprepared. Mama, it's not fair. I don't like it Mama. I understand you. I understand you perfectly. I do. That is why I said I am going to help you get a decent girl to marry. A decent girl that, will, that, that, that will, you will even love, even when you have not even known her before. Mama, I am see, telling you. Mama, you see my fear. You see my point of argument. Mama, how could you be the one that will choose a wife for me? How could you be the one that will decide who I live with the rest of my life? Mama, let me ask you. Do you know the kind of woman I want? Do you know the, what I want in a woman? Or are you the one that will live with her? I go there, I go there, I wait. Wait! 
This ones, this ones you are saying that they are irrelevant. All we need to do now is getting you a good girl from a good home and a girl that is decent. A girl that will, will, you will marry and she will give you a son. Quickly too. Quickly. Then, after she will become your queen. That is all we need. That is all we need for Christ's sake. You know that one? Why are you looking at me like that now? When you marry your job. No. Don't bother your head so much. Hmm? Don't. Just relax. Your mother is going to work out something. I'll work out something with you will like. I will. Oh. Just believe in me. I will. Is it one? I don't know. Hey, I not take it. Do not. No man makes himself clean over any man. There are custom and tradition that determine who becomes the next king. The way it is now, son, if your father dies, the throne is living and found. Hell no. Hell no, mother. That will not work. It will not work. The throne is not living this family as long as I'm still alive. As long as I am still enjoying the liberty of this fresh air. The throne is not going anywhere. Did my father not succeed his father? Did he not succeed his father and ascend the throne? Why will the custom and tradition change now that it is my turn? No, 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 Donald. Nothing has changed. It's just that procedures have to follow the custom and tradition. And I said, oh, no, it will not work, mother. It will not work. I am my father's successor, and there is nothing, absolutely nothing, anyone can do about it. So you better go and advise you know who and those rats, the call elders. You better stop whatever it is they are doing. Because no one will take my throne away from me. No one! Donald, you have to calm down. Take my advice. Let the sleeping dog lie. You know, son, sometimes the truth is better left untold. Truth? What truth are you talking about, mother? Is there something you're not telling me? Mother, you better tell me what I need to know. Anyway, truth or no truth, the throne of Meziaba is mine. And I am going to fight for it with the last drop of my blood, mother. The last drop of my blood, I will fight for what is rightfully mine! This is serious. So in no distant time, you, my guy, you become the king of Umuezala kingdom. Hey, blockhead. It's not Umuezala, it's Umuezyama. Oh, oh. Pardon me, your highness. But I hope when they finally crown you as a king, you will employ me in your palace as a special advisor. Hey, come on, Stan. We have a more serious situation at hand. I are you here making mockery over it? Why? I am not. I'm just celebrating you ahead of time. Stanley, is that the most important thing right now? Tell me, how do I meet up with the requirements? You and I know that right now I don't have any girl I'm dating. So tell me, who do I marry? How do I produce a son in this short possible time? I'm so confused. Igwa Kaka is lying critically ill in the village. And should anything happen to him, like they said, the throne is gone. And that is one thing 
I don't want to happen. Yes. Something just came into my mind now. What? Linda. Your ex-girlfriend, Linda. Why not go back to her? You know, Linda left you because it was so obvious that the relationship was not going anywhere. I mean, just go back to her, explain things to her, she might reconsider you. Yes. Stanley. No, no, no. How can you even suggest a thing like that to me? Linda is totally out of it. That girl is wicked. A girl that left me in the middle of nowhere. I can't even imagine myself settling down with that girl, Linda. For what? Listen, bro. I think you have to take my advice. I'm not talking about the normal course of things happening. I'm talking about the... the, the the way out, out of this situation. Stanley, I right? said no way. If you have any other girl to suggest to me, you can bring them. But not Linda. Certainly not Linda. What? Young lady. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. We are looking for a lady that lives here. Her name is Linda. Linda? Yeah. She has packed out. Packed out? What happened? She packed out. She got married. Please excuse me. Yeah. You know how young boys of these days say things? Hmm? He will not realize that there is no time on his side mm -hmm. to get the real dream kind of girl for himself and also meet up with what our custom demands of him. Therefore, let's go to the village and look for a girl for him. No, not my sister. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for your concern. No, ma, it's, it's not that I have not told him this. So. Oh, I, I, I've talked to him about this, but he doesn't seem to like the idea of us going to find somebody for him. Mm -hmm. But as it stands now, he doesn't have a choice. That is what we have to do. Go out there, get a good girl for him that will get pregnant in no distant time and then give birth to a son for us. That is what we need, isn't it? It is. Huh? Exactly. Eh? That's what I'm talking about. Eh, when you are talking about a good girl, I mean a girl that is reproductive. Oh. That can quickly get in as quickly as possible oh. and give us a son. Yes. Um, I think we should go to Mazi Ebukagogo's house. Three of his daughters are not yet married. And you know, they are respectable young ladies. Uh. Mm. Are you sure of what you are saying? Are you sure they are all still there, not married? Because I heard uh, one of them did traditional wedding last month. No matter what it is, who they must. Three of them cannot get married at the same time. Please, uh, mm -hmm. we should go and get one for one. Mm -hmm. No, okay. I have to. Mm -hmm. hey. mm -hmm. Are you ready for the lesson? Yes, Mama. I'm getting late already, so I have to hurry. Okay. Mama. Take care of yourself, eh? Okay, Mama. Bye bye. Take care. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, Ude, ma. Mm. Please, let us hurry. Let us go and get ready. Mm -hmm. eh? Eh, please. Uh, yeah. Thank you, my dear. Ude, 
Mother, I've come to inform you that I've decided to make my dreams come true. What does that mean? Mother, I, I want to become the easy one of this kingdom after father's death. What? Women of whom is Yama. I hope I am safe. These are you who came to visit me today. You are safe. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, everybody is fine. Okay? There is no problem. All right. How is uh, Naye Bukagogo? He's fine. He has gone to the market. Okay. And how are your families too? We are fine. We are fine. We fine. thank God. We bless God. We thank God. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, thank and let me get you something now. Wait, wait. We don't have all the time to do that. It will be coming. Yeah. Yeah, there will be time for cola. Yeah. Yeah. You sure you don't want anything? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Don't okay. bother yourself. Okay. If you say so. So what brings you to my house today? A bit you see, my son, Osinachi, is going to be the next Igwe of our land. Hey! Why did you No, 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 the kinship has been zoned to our family and it falls on my, my son's shoulders to be the king. Okay. Uh, but it's, there is a clause in it. Clause one? Yes. This clause says that the, 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 the tradition demands that he presents his son, his own son, who is going to be the heir apparent mm -hmm. to the sitting Igwe. Okay. So that the Igwe will now swear him to the oath of kinship okay. before he dies. That is the custom. But you know as much as I do that my son does not have a wife yet. Neither does he have a son. So ne all in here, but I my my friend and here told me that you have a lot of these lagash <laughs> girls. Eh? So that was why we came to see if any one of them we we'll suit into what we want. No, we are. Oh, yeah. No. Eberechi. No, my name. My good friend. You know, I have known your family over the years. That's true. That's why I recommended your daughters to her. Huh? And insisted that we come immediately and see the one available. Well, it's a good thing. Yes. Welcome once again. Thank, Thank you. you very Thank much. Thank you very much. Um, you see, the thing is that two of my daughters have left before now. Mm. Uh -huh. the, the other one got married last month. I mean, I'm Arachi, my daughter. Okay. She got married last month. So leaving uh, the last one behind, you understand? That is the only one that is at home now. But for some time now, I've been seeing all these uh, you know, young girls and young boys of these days. I've been seeing her with one boy. They say that the boy plays uh, football for Enimba. Mm -hmm. Although they have not come to see me. You understand? Mm -hmm. But they're not withstanding. Let me call her so that she will come and listen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Please do. Go ahead. Oga! Oga Chuku! 
so that she's not answering. Let me just go and say, maybe she's sleeping. Uh, yeah? okay. uh, let me call her. Mom. She's not inside. Let me uh, check on her the backyard. Uh, okay. Oh, my two boy. Papa, Mama, here you have been looking for you. Um, some people are here to see you, my dear. What do they want? <laughs> she said that she's looking for a wife for her son. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> this son the mother goes around looking for a wife for. How does he look and where does he stay? My dear, she said that her son is the next king of uh, Umeziyama Kingdom. How possible is it? That the next king of Umezema Kingdom can't come out to get a wife for himself. My dad forget all that, okay? Her mother is the one trying to get a wife for him. Mama, hmm, it's somehow. Anyways, Mama, please tell them that I'm not interested. I already have someone I want to marry. The footballer? Yes, Mama. His name is Cheetos. We love each other so much, Mama. It's okay, but just come and tell them yourself, eh? Baby? Oh, yeah, no, wait, wait, go and tell them yourself, eh? Oh. Oh. Ah. I've called her. Good afternoon, man. Good afternoon, my dear. Hey, mm -hmm. How are you? I'm fine, ma. That's my last daughter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, mama. Beautiful girl. How are you? I'm good, ma. My mother told me your mission to our house. But it is quite unfortunate that you are a bit late. Because I already have someone who wants to marry me. I am back to square one. What do I do now? Where do I start from? At this point, I am even more confused than before. Oh, it's okay, bro. There will be a way out. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? Uh, why not visit all these dating sites. Yes, you never can tell you can be lucky and see a girl from me. You know, they have a lot of girls that are ready to marry, posting their profile pictures, looking for men that are ready to settle down. Yeah, you can try it. Are those things real? Most of these dating sites you see are fake. Some of the profile pictures posted online are done by mischievous girls for their own selfish interests. I will not allow them to deceive me. Never. You are right. Yes. But not all of them are fake. Some of them are seriously looking for their missing ribs. My friend, forget that thing. I say forget that thing. As far as I am concerned, there is no missing rib online. Uh, but, but there is no harm in trial. You never can tell. You can see the woman that is meant for you there. Hmm. Instead of doing what you just suggested now, I would rather go to the street where those lots stand by the roadside. Or even go to the hotel. Go into contact with one of them. Put her in the family way. Then when she gives me a son and I become the king, I will pay her off. Slot? How could you think of such unspeakable thing? Where is your mind heading to? Stanley, what is wrong with what I just said? Considering the situation at hand. Huh? Everything is wrong with it. Osinati, everything is wrong with it. A slot? I, I, I can't believe you, you could think of something like this. 
Listen, you see, you have a lot of girls. Upon all the girls you're seeing, even here on your street, market, churches, schools, you have girls everywhere. You're thinking about getting a prostitute. How could you? Where are they? Where is the girls? Look up, man. I am so happy to have you around again. It's like you are now in every movie shot here and abroad. So barely seven years you joined the movie industry. You've become so popular and got into the level of an international superstar. Sophia, if I say I am happy for you, that is an understatement. <laughs> Oh, Osi, thank you so much. I'm grateful. You know, this industry itself, it's not an easy ground. You just have to go through a lot, but it's just the grace of God that I've gotten to where I am today. Do you know what it takes to compete with the finest girls? I mean, finest girls, ladies, women outside there, and even the most intelligent ladies. It hasn't been easy at all, but I just give glory to God Almighty for making it possible for me to get to where I am today. It's just the grace of God. Um, so, I see. What was it you wanted to tell me on the phone? You weren't sounding okay at all. And even when I saw you at the airport, you were not upright. What is really going on? Sophia, I am about to be made the next king of my community. But you never told me you're from a royal home. I am not. Just about to get it to one. The kingship of my community has been made rudimentary, and it fell on my family, and eventually on me. And ever since then, my life has never been the same. But I really don't get. Why will it come with so many responsibilities that you can't even carry? It has to do with the custom and traditions of my community. I must produce a son before the present king dies. That is the only way I will become the king. Of course they all know that you don't have a son. So why can't they be patient enough for you to get married and start bearing children? That is where the problem lies. My present king is critically ill and about to die. And upon his demise, I will be made the next king when I meet up with the demands of the custom and tradition of our community. And if I fail to do so, the kingship will leave my family and move to another family. Wow, wow. I now understand your plight. You urgently need a wife who you will make your queen and she'll be able to give you a son so that you'll be able to meet up with the traditional obligation, right? Sophia, you won't believe it. Ever since I came back from the village, I have sat everywhere to see if I can find a wife to marry. My dear, I have not seen any. Not even one. <laughs> oh! Sophia is not a lovely man. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm so serious about it. Oh my God, Osi. You of all people. You of, you the king of women. You know, women are always around you. In fact, some even want you to get married to them. You can just pick one of those girls and settle down with her. Like, just pick one. Sophia, none of them is available. They've all been married. In fact, uh, Sophia, I can't even believe that I, Osinachi, will be looking for a wife to marry. Just one wife, who? And I can't even find anyone. 
Oh god, I see, but this is so sad. But don't worry. You just have to calm yourself down. You definitely get yourself down. Don't worry. Hmm? This thing shouldn't be bothering you. I mean, it's written all over you. Look at you. Time is rolling out. He came back. I am sure since that boy went back to Lagos, he must have been making arrangement on how to get a wife. I have my ears to the ground to hear what he's up to. Hmm. Ikamba, mm. I have told you, let us neutralize every effort he's making. Let's turn all his plans into a waste of time. Mm. Yes. But do you think we should do all that? Let's allow him to marry first. Before he gets the needed son, the game must have died. And if he doesn't, we'll help him fasting he's going to his great beyond. You are right. I know. But I insist we visit Agua Tronde to neutralize every plan he has. Agua Tronde? Yes. Okay, we'll try, we'll try. We'll try. What an abasuru, get the manaka nasuru, get the way gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manaka nasuru, get the way gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manaka nasuru, get the way gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manaka nasuru, get the way gundem more. How second? Bamok, you get and them more. I got to run back easy. I go not to go on them. But no, head after Fumeziama. What do you seek from the shrine of Agoturumbe? Mbe, the greatest review of our time. Eh? The mouthpiece of Umeziama. Uh, Mbe, the Igbo Kaka has refused to die. And this continuous living is no longer to our interest. So, we want him dead. What an abasuru, get the manakwana suru, get the boy gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manakwana suru, get the boy gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manakwana suru, get the boy gundem more. What an abasuru, get the manakwana suru, get the boy gundem more. I hear you. What you seek is beyond any man. Your king cannot be killed by any of you. He will die on his own because he has a very great task to carry out. <laughs> The great one. There is nothing you cannot do. Please, you have to try. Eh? We don't want him to live beyond today. <laughs> Enough. What you seek, if you don't take time, will consume you. Now get out of my shrine. Get out! <clears throat> Be warned. When the ear is warned and it refuses to listen, and the hair is cut off, it follows suit. Good evening, my queen. Good evening. Good evening, my princess. Dinner is served. Okay. Tell the prince that dinner is served. Okay, my queen. Thank you. Come in. Yes, what is it? Good evening, my friends. The queen demands that you come down and join them for dinner. Why do you go tell my mother 
that I would no longer die with them. Dying with the royal family again. You may go. What's the meaning of that? Maybe he's no longer comfortable sitting with the next is one. Will you stop that nonsense? Now you listen to me. I don't want you to ever say anything about that, your stupid as the wine. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma'am. You know how much I hate to repeat myself. Yes, ma'am. I do not like excuses. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. I do hear you. Am I understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, Make sure you can go back to your duty post. Son. I sent a maid to invite you to dinner last night. What was the meaning of the message you sent back to me? I guess the maid brought back the message just as I said it to her, undiluted. And I meant every word of it, mother. Come on, mother. Let us not pretend that save all as well. Anyone who does not value my happiness as not a friend and should not be treated as one. The throne of my father means more than life itself to me and I am willing to make sure that it remains here. Anyone insisting that it has to leave this place to some place else does not have my best interest at heart. And that is exactly what you are doing, mother. Which is why I have decided to stay a bit far from you until the battle is over and won by me. Mother. I wish you knew, son. I wish you knew. Wakey, wakey! Look up, Sophie. you know that this is what I desire to take this morning? This is nice. I so much like it. You made my morning so beautiful. I like it. I'm so happy you like it. I really do. 
And you have to get up, go and brush your teeth, then come back and eat your food before it gets cold. While I go back to my room and dress up for my office appointment, I have a very serious appointment at my office this morning. Um, what time is your flight for South Africa? Um, when I checked that ticket, it was about, I think, um, 2.45 p.m. Yeah, 2.45 okay. p.m. All right, I'll be back by 1 p.m. Okay. to take you to the airport. Okay. Hmm? Okay, do take care. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. He's so caring and adoring. He's the kind of man that every woman will want. So happy for him. Oh, Stanley. Oh, Sinachi Baba. Okay. What can be what what happened? Oh, I went to drop Sophia off to the airport. Okay. Ah, Sophia. It's been a while. I only see her face in movies. Sophia is not happy with you for not coming to see her. Uh -huh. It's not my fault now. I didn't know she won't stay long. But bro, she's really doing well for herself. I wonder how she's able to get all these juicy rules in, in movies, locally and internationally. <laughs> it really amazed me. Oh. Me too, because as, as we speak now, she's on her way to South Africa for another movie shoot. Hey, that international babe, she don't be. Oh. I am telling you. Yeah. So she's not going from one country to another. <sighs> What's the matter? I've been thinking. You and Sophia, you're cool together. Both of you have been friends right from school days till now. Sure, sure. Why not marry her? Huh? Marry her. Marry her? Stanley, where is that coming from? Come on, listen at you, reason it out now. Huh? You used to advise me that the best one someone can get married to is the person's best friend. Both of you have been friends. Best friend for that matter. Consider her. Especially now that you are desperately in need of a wife. Yes. Um, you know, Stanley, seriously, I have never thought about this. Yes, um, Sophia and I are best of pals. And we've known each other for a very long time. But... Oh, Usinaki, forget the but. Just stick to my advice. Stick to it. Take my advice. Biko, Biko, please, come. Oh, Agone, our very existence depends on this. Biko, oh. Good evening, Mama. Good evening, Mama. I'll get back to you, no? Ma. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you, ma. Mama, it's still the matter. Who oh, is looking for me? Oh. <laughs> I'm around. Sister Angela. Good ma. evening. Good evening, ma. It's okay with you. Um, she was with me, but she brought that uh, Neka's place to finish her homework. Neka. Mm. Which of the Neka? Ah, the one that lives uh, beside the, the market now. I know you will not know, but if to know everywhere in the north now, you will know. See, you better start paying me, oh. so I'll be taking you places you don't know in this, in this village. I'm also taking you people you don't know. Okay. You and my sister are just saying the same thing yeah. every day. You see? <laughs> Please take me to where she is. Ah, hey, Mama, eh? let me take her to Nekas house. Eh? Okay. I'll, I'll okay. Back. okay, okay. You will come back, won't you? Going yes, ma. <laughs> Thank you, ma. Yes. Mama. <laughs> don't stay long, go. Chi, mm -hmm. I am not too comfortable with this whole arrangement. What are you talking about? What are you not comfortable about? 
if your brother had seen me on his own, came after me and asked me to marry him, the story would have been different. But you and your mom are the ones arranging me for him. So, <laughs> what is the problem? <sighs> to be honest, I'm scared. I'm scared. He may not like me or when he marries me, someday he'll start taking me for granted. Because he didn't pick me on his own. See, Auntie <sighs> Angela, this is my elder brother we're talking about here. I know some guy in the village. <laughs> See, just relax. Relax yourself. I cannot recommend something that is, that is not good for you. I understand that the marriage seems to be in a hurry. But I want to make my brother happy. I also make you the best queen of our kingdom. <laughs> Like that. So, just don't be yourself. Oh no, Your Majesty. You know, it is your responsibility to make sure my successor is ready. As you can see, it is obvious that my days are numbered. Mazu Wanike's son. Who's supposed to succeed me is not around to take the kingship, but as our custom demands. Your Highness, like I hinted you the last time after I met the elders, the boy has gone back to the city to prepare himself and also get all that is required of him. It is taking too long for him to come back. Health is failing me. And I'm in great pains even as I speak with you now. I want to go back to my team and rest. Your Majesty, please hold on for a little longer. If you go now, a lot of things will go wrong in our kingdom. And I have always known you as a very strong man. Please, Your Majesty, don't go yet. Please. Oh no. Oh no. Your Majesty. I am fine. I have graciously run my own race. I do not want to continue to stay, to suffer those who are looking after me. I should go. Let others carry the mantle and move on. before, and I'm still saying it. You and your fellow elders are just wasting your time looking for a successor to my father. It will be over my dead body that the throne will pass me by. I am my father's successor. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing, anyone can do about it. can see your friend the king is gradually going so sad I wish we had powers to extend his years and make him stay more with us unfortunately we don't have such powers 
Ah, chicken soup. What's the name? Chicken cream. It's tired. I will soon be going back to the state. Oh, by the way, what are you elders doing about his successor? Oh, we are still on it. And that is why I plead with you to please keep close eyes on him. Because if His Majesty dies now, there'll be a lot of problems on, in our land. Oh no. I don't need to be told to take care of my husband. If I don't do it, who will? Well done, Your Majesty. The Lord strengthen you. And also, uh, your son, the Prince. Oh no, please, I... I don't want you to bother about what the prince told you. I heard everything. You know, he just acted out of ignorance. If only he knew. Exactly. But I think it's high time you told him all he needs to know. He's my son. And I know how to handle him. All right, Your Majesty. I'll take my leave now. Thank you, no. Hmm. Elders, I was with Igwe Okaka yesterday. And what he told me really scared me. Igwe Okaka can drop dead any time. Even as we speak right now. Oh, no. What is going on? How, how far with your nephew? Has he been able to get married? Uh, at what level is he now in terms of meeting up uh, with the kingship? Uh, oh, no. Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't asked him or his mother what is really going on. And that is the truth of the matter. That, that, is, look at that is wrong. That is very, very wrong of you. Chibuchu, I expected you to be on top of this matter. Huh? Follow him up and make sure he meets up with the demands of our traditional custom. That is what you are supposed to do as his uncle. Um, I have been doing that. Honestly, I have been doing that. And it's just that I've been kind of busy recently. And that is the truth. Uh, yes. Chief Ojuku, the Igwe is begging. He is begging that your nephew brings his son so he can swear him to the oath of kingship before he dies. As we speak now, the Igwe they drop dead. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. Why are we overflogging this issue? I wonder. If the family of Inhe Sinachi cannot meet up traditional obligation, let the kinship move to another family. Are they the only family in this community? Nah. Watch your language. Watch your language, right? What are you saying? Ah! Who told you we are not capable of meeting up? Who told you? I said so. It's over three months your nephew went back to the city. Up till now, no news of getting a wife to produce a son. Oh, oh yeah. May I mind you have banged at your tongue for saying that? Nonsense. Look, 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 look. I take exception to that you're blabbing. If you don't know what to say, just keep quiet. How can you be saying that kind of thing? How can you? That That's is right me. now. Uh -huh. yes. Will it take your family eternity to produce a son? Uh -huh. To out of the kingship before it becomes your own. Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh no! Are you listening to these two people? Are you listening to these two people? I will not sit here and watch these people ridicule my family. No, I will not. Warn them for me. Warn them. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. What, what, what is it's it? all right, Ojuku. Oh no! The truth I said is always painful. But it's obvious we won't say the truth. Yes. Your family has failed. <laughs> Let them give the kingship to another family. Never. They'll give the kingship to another. This 
will never happen. Not in my lifetime. Listen, your family will never be the next royal house of this community. Oh, it will not happen. Oh, you are my dead body. Okay, it's all right. Never. Never. Let oh, it be. Sit down. Never. 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 Oh, do I say sit down. Uh, sit down. Sit enough down. is enough. Can't produce okay. a song. Uh, it's enough it's is right. enough. It's uh, the devil Excuse me, right. but, but uh, elders, what is all this? What is all this? Has it occurred to any of you that the Igwe can drop dead now? And mm. we are here bickering. Mm. Uh, we have a serious matter in our hand. What is all this? And this is time we need to do something before the Igwe dies. And you are here shouting at each other. Please, please, please. Let us get our heads together. Yes, we um, Abu Tunde is only angry because we did not give him any gift. That is why he was saying that rubbish. Mm -hmm. huh? If you want the throne, if you want the throne, it is due to you. Mm -hmm. We will help Igwe Okaka to join his credo. Since Imbe failed, we will try Otaka from Umuhago or Naded from Umuchekwa. <laughs> yeah? I quite agree with you. Uh -huh. I will do everything within my powers to make sure that he dies. He has to die now. After all, he said he wants to die. Yes. Why is he living again? Uh -huh. He has to die. Have you? Yes. We must do it first. He has to die. Yes. Who fasten it for him? Uh -huh. Will he live forever? She's okay. She's beautiful. She's as spoken. Um, I like the way she dresses. And uh, I think she has a good sense of uh, humor. But Mama, I can't, um, I can't conclude just like that because. I still want her to come over to the city and spend some time with me. Probably this weekend. Uh -huh. yeah. So that I can get more acquainted with her. By then, I can now assess her. Hey, that's a good one, now, my son. That's a good one. But have you told her? Yes, Mama. And what did she say? I told her now. She agreed to go with me. Uh -huh. We are talking about a man who, even as we speak, now could drop dead and the story will end. Exactly. 
So why not wait till he dies? Okay, come to think of it. What do you stand to gain from the king's death? Listen. If he dies now, my husband becomes the next Igwe and I'll become the next Lolo. Can you now see the reason why I need him dead at all costs? The sorry. Igwe still being alive is to our disadvantage. I'm sorry, Danny. I am sorry. I can't do what you're asking of me. I cannot do it. Okay, find someone. Someone else. like who? Mama. You're my niece, and your mother is my elder sister. If I become the next Lolo today, it's to our own benefit. Don't you think so? And I'll make you the head of the royal maids in our palace. next as the wine of Umezama community. Even if my friend here doesn't believe, my mother has also forbidden me from saying anything like that at home. Father, our community has never had anything like as wine before. Yes, that is how the world may look at it. But our Heavenly Father does not see that way. You heard me? Yes. Heavenly Father does not see. Only keep to your faith. Keep to your belief. Just be strong. That's all. Thank you, Father. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. The most important thing here is your happiness. You know you are the ones you live with. Not your mom, not your uncle, not your people. Please. I don't think you can cope with her. <sighs> Stanley. You're right. But tell me. What will I do? The throne is gradually slipping away from my house. I am losing the throne. I think I need to see her tomorrow. Yes. Just carefully administer it in his food, and that's all. He will quietly rest in peace. Oh, oh yes. Nice having you. Thank you. Thank you um, for the hospitality. But, um, my friends. Yes. One more thing. Yes. I'm having this feeling that your father may drop dead anytime soon. So, how ready are you to ascend the throne against all odds? Every plan is in top gear. Every hand on deck I went to meet my personal teller to have him so royal regalias for me. 
Ah, uh, I'm just waiting for my father to take his last breath. And before the elders who know what has happened, I have been crowned king. And if they refuse to work with me, I will have each and every one of them fired and employ new elders to work with me. <laughs> Donald Okaka. <laughs> That would be a bold step to take. I like it. I like it. Yeah, but there's a problem. Serious problem. You see the chief priest. It's a big issue to me. What about him? The old fool sounded like the rest of the elders. He said to me that I, Prince Donald Okaka, should stay clear of the throne. And it is not due to me. Can you imagine such a rant's nonsense? I wanted him to come around so I can have a little traditional feel to my coronation. But since he's not ready to play ball, I have sent for a new chief priest from the village of Okehe. Yes. Besides, chief priest is chief priest. What do they even do anyways? <laughs> Same incantation. Prince <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donald Dogu. I should see you soon. Oh, Kaka. Oh, Kaka, my prince. I'm with you all the way. Uh, can't wait to see this. 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 Thank you. Okay. Come and see the one. Queen Ed. Jesus. Where, where did you spring up from? Queen Ed. You know each other. Angela is a prostitute. Stanley, just tell me you are kidding me. It's not possible. Angela. You know I served in Kaduna. Yes. And I was told that she lived in Kaduna with her parents before her father died and they came back to the East. Yes. As a core member then, serving in one of the biggest bands in KD City, we had a lot of money to throw around. The club every weekend, we have fun, we flex, and we take babes home. That was how I met her. We became her regular customer. But I even have to pass her to my friends whenever they come visiting. Unfortunately, one day, she stole one of my friend's money. And I later got the information that she was contacted with a virus and left the city. Stanley, did you just say she contacted the virus? Yes. A friend of mine that was serving in FMC then in KDCD 
confided in me that she came to run a test and she was tested positive. Wait a minute. Don't, don't tell me you've been entering her treasure pack without protection. Don't tell me that. I was very careful. Despite the fact that I needed a son so badly. But because of how I met her, I decided to use protection for the bad time. Thank God. Eh? <sighs> I think you have to go for Thanksgiving. I this swear. is a narrow escape. Narrow escape for real. I was born great. I achieved greatness. And I have greatness bestowed upon me. I know the most intelligent ones amongst you must have heard that when my father is no more, I, Prince Donald, shall be the next king of Umeziyama Kingdom. You see, I officially want to announce this to you because you are a sophisticated internal army of this royal household. It is not going to be an easy transition. It is not going to be a smooth movement. And as such, I solicite for your support. Also, I want to inform you that there are those working tirelessly, day and night, to ensure that I do not succeed. I do not ascend the throne of my ancestors. And as such, I solicit for your support. I solicit for your backup. You will bleed for me. You will die for me. You will give your all for me. Do I have your support? Yes, my, yes, yes, my prince. I did not hear you. Do I have your support? Yes, yes my prince. Now, one of you follow me so I can give you something to write to today. Long live the prince and soon to be king, king of Umizama kingdom. Prince Donald, I hope you have heard I'm becoming the S1, the next after father. I heard the whistle blow us in the palace, whispered it to me. Do not care. Usually I don't get busy or I don't trouble my head over nonsense issues. Yeah. Those that are advising you to come out with such a ridiculous idea are also supposed to tell you that it is not allowed in this land. Yes, but it would start with me. The elders don't think you deserve the tune of our father, but now I'm bringing it home. Watch your thumb, little sister. Mind what you say to me. The elders cannot stop me from ascending the throne of my ancestors. They can't. Not just because it is my inheritance, but also because it is my traditional right. With all due respect, brother, I would advise you not to think of becoming the king. Because it will never work. I will. Now you listen. Next time I will slap you up 
I will break you from your dreams. My dear, one day this palace will just collapse. Every day, king this, king that. I don't understand you. <laughs> nay, if Kay is not thinking, one day I'll come out of the next evil of this kingdom. Don't say this one to you. And they agree to you. Uh, I heard that you people refuse to come out for sanitation to clean the boundary between us and uh, Omaka. Your heart. Your heart. Yes, yes. You see, that is one thing about you old Konji elders in this community. You don't verify things before saying it. You heard. You hear. You hear. Everything in this community is based on I hear. They hear. They hear. They hear. Hey, hearing. But I was there on Saturday. Only for you two, brother. Uh, I was not to my brother. Uh, see, as I was talking, hmm? may you live long. Let's talk relevant things and live in relevant things. This is the reason I said we need a young, vibrant Igwe in this community. Not all these conjured blood elders who talk on days of I hear. I hope you are not referring to me. Uh, I have good news for you. There is a good news. The good news that saw this women in this community. They are planning. They are doing everything human possible for you not to be the next king of this world. <laughs> but trust me, they will never and will never succeed because <laughs> everything is based on Mufase, Mufase. Magonye chinyerezi, mada apu magene, hey, 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 my people, my people. I was born great. I achieved greatness. But I have greatness bestowed upon me. What this land need is a young, vibrant leader to lead you. 
which is why I, I have decided to succeed my father. But as you all know, some elders, if not all of them, are working tirelessly to ensure that I do not succeed him. But we will not let it happen. I knew it. I'm not here for speculation. I am not here for two of you. I knew it. I knew it that a day will come when you will gather the youths of this land, including the thieves, to instigate them. But trust me, you are just wasting your time. And that is move us sir. Move us sir. Now who is this drunk talking to me? Cut away, you there! Cut away! I... Who are you? I'm talking to you. And you know you can't you can do anything. Huh? Nonsense. Wait. Till. What are you trying to do? Force yourself on us? Uh -uh. Is it not spared out? The king leaves your family to another family. And that is the final. Move yourself. Move yourself. On a guy. Muje. Muje. Naga. Um, 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 Fulani or whatever you call yourself. Why do you go about causing troubles unnecessarily? Who invited you into this matter? Who invited you? Let him be. Let him be. I made him a promise. Remember? I made you a promise that I am going to have you arrested for constituting nuisance and talking rubbish. Thank you. Thank you. But just before I do that, I will give you a remarkable injury. God, sit down. God, and sit down. Cut away, you there. You see, let me tell you, I am that one person who can never and will never be scared of you. Huh? Let me tell you, if you like, front your muscles, your height, your teeth, and your slaves, you can never be the king of this land. And that is final. Move ourselves, move ourselves. No! Come! Let me deal with you. Eh? Butterfly that takes himself a bit. Hey! I'm sorry. Cut away, you dear. Oh, I'm gonna... I can't be. I can't be in the midst of uh, armed robbers and signal What nonsense! What is the meaning of this? Are you of you crazy? Have you become this shameless? In the presence of the gods and beasts, both of you were fighting over a throne that none of you will ever accept. Point of correction, mother. I wasn't having any argument with that easy over anything. Besides, how can I fight for what is rightfully mine? Who does that, mother? I love your Spanish. What is yours? Indeed. Mother, it's better you advise your son to forget the idea of becoming a king because he will never be. Shut up! Shut up! What is wrong with you? Did I not forbid you from, from mentioning that as a way nonsense before me? Now listen, both of you. Let this be the very last time both of you will talk about a throne that has already left this family. Get out of my presence, both of you. Two of you! What is this? Look at this. What does she know about the leadership of this kingdom? Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Which designer actually made this? It's um one guy from Nigeria. His name is Amnat Stone. 
He is very good at what he does. Yes, he is. I love the magic he made with those fabrics. Wow. Do you know that so many filmmakers attended the event? I can see. Look at this. I can see. Um. Oh, see, the other day you were trying to tell me something, but we did not conclude. About what? Yeah, you told me you found the lady you want to marry and... Yes, you are right. Wow! That's great! Whoa, I'm very happy for you. Congratulations. Um, well, just that I haven't told her. I've not really told her about it. But here you are looking for an urgent wife to bear you a son so that you can be the next king of your village. Now you found one. I don't know why you can tell her. Is it that you are not man enough? I mean, bold enough to confront a lady? Um, not really. Just that, um, I'm scared that she might not accept me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, see. She didn't be scared because you, you can never tell. Trust me. You have to try. Uh, okay. I will give it a try. But I still have to wait a little while. Maybe I can gather some more courage. All right, if you say so, no problem. Um, let me show you another design. through bad and good times together. We know each other in and out. We've grown from being friends to becoming brother and sister. And I'm convinced you'll be a good wife. Sophie, marry me. We can't be husband and wife. We are better off as friends that we are. Most of this whole thing is coming up as a result of pressure from home that you should get yourself a wife that will bear you a son so that you can ascend to the throne. And I, Sophia, will not settle for this kind of arrangement. It's not possible. I'm sorry, you just have to stand up. Come on. Uh, but Sophie, you know, you know it's not true. Even if there was no kinship in the first place, the 
because I have become so fond of you. I know, see, I know. But let not stretch on this, okay? Because it's not working. First of all, because of my career, marriage is far, far from it. More so, motherhood. Motherhood is something I'm not even thinking for now. Maybe it's you the next five years to come. See, oh see, it's not that you are not man enough for me as a husband or that you are not my spec. Far from it. You have every quality every woman wants. But for now, marriage is not just my thing and all the whole jargons that comes with it. Excuse me. observing you this one you're so happy today what's the good news Stanley, guess what just, just guess, guess what Sophia has accepted to marry me hey <laughs> yes. are you serious oh so <laughs> hmm? Finally, I am going to be the proud husband of my best friend, Sophia, the movie star, the celebrity, yeah. the ambassador. Yeah, on to celeb, man. Yeah. I'm really happy for you. So, so. I'm very, very happy. Yeah. Um, we are traveling to the village as soon as possible to see her parents. You know what you have your heart. I cannot give any chance at this moment. Oh, come on, you should now, nah, you should. I'm very, very happy wow. at least you're moving forward. Hmm? Keep pressing, you are pressing <laughs> forward. Moving forward. <laughs> moving forward.
Nice, Mama. Chidema. Hey, Mama. Mama, what are you doing? Hey, Mama. Hey, Chidema. Chidema, how are you? Fine. Good afternoon, Mama. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Mama. Hey, you're welcome. Good afternoon, Mama. Good afternoon. Meet my mother. Wow. And Chile Mama younger sister. Mama? Eh? This is Sophia. The lady I want to marry. Sophia. Mama Sophie. Eh. Oh Sophia. Eh. She's the lady I want to marry. Eh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no, Mama. Why is actually her mother is from Ghana? But her father is from Kindle. You can do them. No, you're welcome, Mom. You're looking at me. Um, how do you mind? My dear. No, Mom. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Mama, I know her. Yes. She's an international movie star. Yes. Um, you were you were part of the just concluded Africa movie collaboration titled We Are One, which was shot in South Africa. She's correct. Oh my god. And wait. You play the, the roles of Chantel, Shelly, Monica and Miss Comfort in some Hollywood and Nollywood collaborated movies. Oh my god, Mama! Oh my god, you're the former miss of, uh, of Hyundai and uh, currently the Glow Ambassador. Yes! Wow! Yes. 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 brilliant! I can't say it! Your sister is very brilliant. Hey, Mother. Wait, 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 all you now do is to sit down, copy the profiles of movie actors mm -hmm. and addresses. No, nah, eh? brother. You see, you don't like that, too. See, eh? my friends, all my friends, eh? they are aspiring models and actresses. See, Miss Sophia here is one of their role models. And don't let's talk about Sophia McDonald's. <laughs> Sophia McDonald's? Sophia McDonald's? Oh my god, I'm so excited! <laughs> see, but my friends are going to scream out loud if they get out of my house. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I don't even know this here. Can you imagine? Oh, let me see. I don't even understand what new people are talking about. I don't know. It's like you understand what they're saying. They are talking about Nollywood stars and Hollywood stars. Yes, so they know what? Nollywood movies and Hollywood movies. I don't even know. I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Come on, get inside. Get inside. Stop, because I want to be. You know, she suddenly she knows everybody in the whole world. <laughs> okay, Mama, but Mama, you're not looking bad. Oh my God, it's you now. Always looking young, Mama. Always looking young, Hello? Hello? Oh my God. Guess who my brother brought home today as his wife to be? Guess now? Okay, he brought home an international movie star, Miss Sophia McJohnson. To be my brother's wife and the lord of our kingdom. <laughs> I'm so happy. Seriously, you need to come and see for yourself because I'm so excited. I'm happy. Alright. I don't understand anymore. Eh? Does this mean that Uma did not administer the poison the way you instructed? 
I wonder too. I thought by now the Ikoro would have sounded to signify his death, but yet nothing. Hey, maybe we'll do it on our own way. Honestly, maybe we'll do it on our own way. Honestly, do it on our own way. You can buy our that? Who is this? The worst has happened. Osinachi has found a wife. What? Where did you hear that one from? He brought the girl home to show his mother. No, 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 no. That won't be. I will not let that marriage be, let alone letting that couple produce a son. Five, five, half five, half five. Give it to me, please. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I must. Excuse me. Sir, please have a seat. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Everything will be fine. How is my wife? Um, Mr. Snatchy? 
You have to be strong. I'm sorry. Doctor, you are sorry for what? Um, we tried all we could. But your wife and your baby didn't make it. What? What? Doctor, where is my wife and my baby? Doctor!
Why does he have joined his ancestors? Igor Gaga! Hey! 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 Igor Gaga! Hey! Hello, man. Igor Gaga! Iguana! Tay! 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 Take it easy. 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 Take Obi, eh, na brule mo pa. Father, things haven't turned this way. I guess my friend, the twins, Prince Donald Okaka, has been vindicated. So uh, he is free to succeed his father without any encumbrance. There has never been any encumbrance. There has never been any. The fact is that Prince Donald is not qualified to ascend the throne of Omoeziyama Kingdom. He is not qualified. That is the issue. Not qualified? I, I, I don't understand. How do you mean? I told the Queen to tell him all he needed to know about his background and his origin. The Queen told me she will handle it. But I'm sure she handled nothing. Prince Donald is not a biological son of King Okaka. What? The Queen picked him up where he was dumped at birth and the king adopted him 34 years ago. Uh, Princess Adese is not the only child of the king. The rest died some years back. So uh, Donald is not qualified. That's the problem. four years ago. Is it true? I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry I hid the truth from you all these years. Please forgive me. Please.
Did I hear the alternative approach rule? Oh, yes, yes. I remember my father told me it's an emergency rule that is only applied when all options have failed. Oh. But what does our custom say about the alternative approach rule when it comes to uh, uh, kingship? Who is the chosen one? Make you allow him to be your. Who is the chosen person? Allow him to rule. Oh, oh God and bless. I mean, no one can contest. Who oh God and bless. You know that the alternative approach rule is one of our laws. But it's almost forgotten because we hardly use it. You know, it is used when all options to install a king has failed. Exactly. That is why it is called the emergency rule. That's right. It was last used, if I am not mistaken, about um, over 300 years ago. It's more yes. than that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that is why today we are now being asked to apply it again. Since every option to install a king in our kingdom has failed. The rule states that where all options to install a king fails in the kingdom, that any offspring of the king, be it a male or a female who is above 18 years, can be installed or crowned as the king of the kingdom. Eh? Yes. 18 years? Yes. Hey! Whether male or female? Whether male or female. Hey! Hey! My God! Hmm. Is that all we are left with? Yes. Eh? So, hey, that is why the voice was saying that the living one amongst us. The living one amongst us? And that is the Yes. Hey. The daughter. Uh -huh. Arise for the new ruler of Ezama Kingdom, Ezewai Adezi Okaka. Let the music begin. Obvious and is destined to And I want you to understand that it is not the end of the world. You don't have to be indoors. She is still your sister and I your mother. Turn out. 
face. Let us go and join them outside. Let us rejoice with her. Please. Please, son. It is not over yet. Anazazazo 